ask me. We can me, go into more fun questions. Dina. <laughs> Mira. Estás Dina enamorada? Lo. Yes. You know what? Yes. Subtitles. It Are is... you in love? Oh, wait, not subtitles. It's translation. Translation. Are you, you in see? love? There we go. That's why. Are you in love? You have me to bounce off of. I <laughs> am definitely in love. Ah! And this is the time when I just reveal, open up my oh. heart and reveal all the things. I mean, I won't go into detail, okay? Sure, yeah, but I'll no. give you a little something, something. <laughs> um, yes, in love. Well, I got, actually got married when I was, I had just turned 24. Oh. I, I got married after two months. I did. And uh, I did not tell I my parents. That, yeah. I think and I told you about you that. You told me about yeah. Well, I also, because I had to, you know, I put my degree to use and I was like, <laughs> research. doing some research on Jane Ali Ortiz. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, okay, it was right before I moved out to California. I I'd met someone and, and I was, I just turned, no, I was 23. Yeah, I just turned 24 because that's the time that I shot Scream Queens. <laughs> Scream Queens, shout out VH1 season two of hey. Scream Queens. Um, that was like the material that I used for my acting reel for some time. That was such an, an amazing experience. I, I missed that time. I haven't seen oh. any episodes, so if there's any, it's all on YouTube. Can, oh, okay. It's I can all a little embarrassing, but no. so adorable. It's ador. I mean, I was there was one episode where I was holding this like forty pound python. The one, the same what? one that Britney Spears held during the oh my god, the I'm MTV. I think one of her performances for I'm a slave, slave oh. for you. Yes, and I I won that challenge because I used my dancing skills. Yes, but yes, that was an that was the sort of the career move that um, right after acting acting class in New York, I did Scream Queens and I was I shot we shot it out here in L.A. and I moved back to New York and. Met this guy two months later, moved to Texas, spent five, six months in Texas, and we worked our way to Los Angeles. And I didn't tell my parents that I was <gasps> getting married because I didn't have health insurance at that time. So I thought, you know what, let's just, this is between us two. And so you didn't have a, did he kneel down? Did he, did he like do yes. some of the traditional what, stuff? What's or? crazy, this is the craziest story. Okay, so, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what? I'm so Putting tired of what people spot. are going to think. It's fine. This is what I did, and I'm not ashamed of it. I was snooping because I'm a snooper. Okay. <laughs> and I was, you know, I was just like, let me see. Let me just see. Not that I was suspecting anything, but I was like, let me just see what, you know, what his DMs are like. Oh. And this is this is the early, early days of uh -huh, Instagram. Uh -huh. And I went into his DMs, and I had ruined the no. proposal surprise because of my nosy ass oh, was like, let no. me just see what he's talking about. And he had told one of his friends, holy shit, I'm going to do it. Can you believe it? Like I'm going to propose in Cancun. Oh. So throughout the entire proposal, <laughs> I was, I was acting. <laughs> I put on my, my, my best acting shoes and was like, <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I kid you not. Like I saw the sock in his pocket and I was like, he's about to do it. He's about to do it. Oh my gosh. And so I like overact, like I overcompensated. So when he got down on the one knee, I also got down on the one knee. Cause I was like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? I almost got down on one knee too, but I was like, nope, nope. To my fiance. Sorry. But you didn't know. See, I knew, I, didn't know, yeah. I knew what was coming and I had to act as if it all was a surprise like i you know one anticipated moment yeah. for or one what is it one one don't ask me I, I, <laughs> an anticipated you don't you yeah it's something that you don't anticipate uh-huh so thank you thank you it was it was an un you know i had to like fake the yeah. unanticipated uh -huh. moment and so oh God. <laughs> i was like oh my god did I you think cry? like two years later, I admitted that. Oh. And he was like, oh, that's why you didn't cry. But yes, I probably would have cried. I may cry <laughs> if it happens the second time around. No, definitely for sure. I will not be snooping. I will not try and find. I'm the worst to keep surprises from. Really? Yeah. Oh, because you're like, something's happening. Something's up. Something so is smell up. smell it right away. I you're like, smelling I'm it right away. One of oh, those people who know. pay attention to close making notes, details. Making notes, guys. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So, <laughs> anyway, that's what happened. I was 24, and then I moved out here. I first moved to Orange County, and I spent a couple of uh, years in 
Orange and Irvine. And then I moved up to um, okay. West LA. And I was finally like in the Los Angeles bubble. Wow. And that's when I, I mean, obviously the first few years of living in Los Angeles, I didn't have any representation. I didn't have any mm-hmm. credits. Like I moved straight from acting class and having that Scream Queens experience to wow. just coming out and yeah. going straight into it. And yeah. fast forward a fast few years, you know, yeah. a, a couple of national commercials and then like plenty of those casting director workshops <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> yeah, exist. About that. They don't exist anymore. Yeah. But yeah, um, I ended up booking um, my first pilot with Chris Carter for Amazon. That's when Amazon was oh, just wow. coming out yeah. with their pilots. And that's when, that's when that whole process of like, here's a show. Now the audience, you get to vote, you know, if you want to keep it on air or not. Was that a so, thing? I must That was a thing. That was a yeah. thing. And so shortly after that was Rosewood. Okay. That was the that and was the that first was thing. The... And like before Rosewood, I was like, no, give me the co-star. Give me the guest star. Give me the recurring. I want to work my way up to a series yeah. regular. And but the industry was that, like, nope. Yeah. The, and yeah. I got the, it was gonna... just here, series regular. Take it. Wow. And so, yeah, that <laughs> take was, it. take it here. <laughs> no, give me the co-star. I just want that one line. Give me the one line. Oh my that God. was, yeah, that was kind of the wow. experience, the moving to LA okay. experience. So yes, back to your question of our, am I in love? I don't know how yeah. that led up to that. I know. <laughs> yes, I am. But I had to give you a little, a little history, yeah. a little backstory yeah. of I was married for nine mm-hmm. years and that was a beautiful, um, that was an, it was, it was an amicable, like, um, we, we came together mm-hmm. and, and we also separated amicably. Okay. So okay. I, I'm very grateful for that experience because I feel like, you know, what was beautiful about it was that we came together and we, we, we chased our dreams mm-hmm. through that relationship. Yeah. And, um, you yes, had each other currently, the currently there's nothing like finding your person mm-hmm. and doing all the things that you love doing together, essentially having the same love language, right? Because mm. I, I realized in the past our love languages weren't compatible. Like my love okay. language is quality time and physical touch and maybe some acts of service sprinkled in. Mm-hmm. But like when, when you find your person... That yeah. sh- that shares the same love language as you. That's when you know. Oh my gosh, Aww. we can, we can, we can make this work. Yeah, that's beautiful. So are so, you a, are you like a hopeless romantic, or are you more like a we're just in a relationship? No, hopeless romantic for sure. Like I would love to. I know you're about to do this, but I would love to. I didn't get. To, I didn't get to have the wedding experience. I know. So I'm and I, dying and that makes me to, so sad. I want. I want that for you. Yes, I really, I'm really dying do. to walk down the aisle and do yeah, the dress. And, I really. And, and I'll be here to, yeah, no, to tell you everything yeah. about it. Yeah. You, oh, my gosh. Oh, my yes. God. No pressure. I'll be a married lady by the time this comes No, out. you are a married lady. I am a married ah, lady. Yeah. So, so I'll be here to, to give you all the notes. Please. What to do and not to do. I'll take it. I love it. <laughs> 